Well, the time machine, when I got that, is, is a real, you know, like, like Hollywood story, you might say. It, it just kind of showed up. George Powell, who did the time machine, was sort of like my dad or my uncle in a way. I mean, I loved him so much. He always said, someday, Bob, you're going to end up with a time machine. Well, it was at an auction at MGM in the 70s. And my wife and I, we, we saved up $1,000 hoping we could get it. I had no idea. So we went to the auction, and it immediately went to 5000 6000 7 and, and I said, That's, I don't even want to know. We left. Well, I heard it went for something like ten grand. A guy with a traveling show got it, and he had these big semi-trucks, and he had a bunch of props in. He'd go city to city. And then the whole thing just caved in. I don't know for what reason. But the stuff got re-auctioned off. I, I guess it was... I was supposed to end up with this. I mean, George was right, I think. Because all of a sudden, I get a call from a friend of mine, and he saw the dish of the machine in the back of this shop. And he called my friend Tom and said, I think I found this thing that Bob was looking for. Tom and I got out there. Sure enough, there it was. And I thought, oh my God. So we got it. I called George that very night when I got home, put it in the garage. And uh, the first thing he said to me was just such a, he says, of course, I told you you were going to get it. Never doubt me. I knew you were going to get it. Well, I think to become a collector, I guess if you're a collector, you've got to collect stuff. I mean, that's it, you know. Whether it's a couple of pieces or hundreds of pieces or whatever it may be. The museum has become important for me for a lot of reasons. But I think the best reason I could think of to have this, I just, I love this stuff so much and I do want to share it with people. There's a fellow over in England who's deaf. His favorite movie was The Time Machine, because that's the last movie he ever heard. So that film, he remembered everything about that film. And he heard I had The Time Machine, and he was coming over to the States and asked if he could possibly come over. He came in, and he went back and he saw The Time Machine, and he fell to his knees, just started crying and crying. Because he said, I never thought I'd see this in my whole life before, ever. I, never thought, I mean, I saw it, and I never thought I'd see it again. And it just... Oh man, I mean, and he went over to it and, and he, did, he said, can I touch it? And I said, sure you can touch it. When somebody comes in and sees something that they really love from a film and they're able to touch it and get pictures with it and stuff like that, to me is, is very important because I know how I felt when I got it. I'm no special guy, I'm just a guy that loves the stuff. That's all I know. I look at this like I'm really just the caretaker of this stuff. I don't even consider me owning it, really. I'm the guy that's supposed to take care of this stuff so people can see it. Oh boy, I love it, I'll tell you, I absolutely love it.